Howdy y'all, this is Regulus Raven. Welcome to another episode of Night in the Woods. Last time, we um, got up and talked to Mom again and finally found out why she was so stressed. Um, they got a bad mortgage deal, they got taken advantage of by the bank. Um, and they were in quite a bit of debt before that because of an incident that had happened. So they were, she was just stressed about money and stuff, so, um, I mean, it, it, it's a thing. Um, they talked it out and we're on good, good terms with her again. We reconciled with mom. Um, we went up by the church, talked with uh, Pastor Kay and um, Bruce, and they, city council is uh, going to have a big meeting to talk about him and his stuff, trying to find him help, I guess. And the rat babies took off, like, there are rats everywhere. <laughs> Uh, and they are no longer in their little nest thing, so, um, that's the gist of what happened, um, there's all kinds of stuff going on, she's really freaked out about the whole thing, so, we're going to continue on, um, and talk with Bay. Hey, Bay. Hey, uh. Thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got like really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay. Well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no. He's at a snack falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Well, I don't even know what that means. Still, well... Okay. Okay. Angus? Angus! Are you up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. Oh, so... I'll tell you about it later. I'm gonna jump on your counter. Whoa, is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. jump on this. What? Hey. What are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Dumb girl slips off ledge. Died on the street below. There we go. Cranky man haunted by screaming poltergeist. Soggy corpse. Hardly recognizable. I did a bite by teeth. Every man dies of heart attack from being scared by a hootin' and hollering phantom. Evidence shows girl was pushed. Alright, alright. Uh, 
Oh, and I missed. Let's see if I can do this. I do, because look at that. There's the other... Hey, dude. Hey, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question. How do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. up there. Alright. I'm gonna make this work. Jump! Jump. Jump. There we go. Okay. Guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? I don't know. We're not like good friends or anything. Oh yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Aw. Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at Fred See you at brain practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah. I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal. Uh, trash crossover. Hip hop. I like witch dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah. Like that doom stuff, right? Da 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 da. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> what did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot. I start creeping up the hill. Like, 50 feet back. And like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah. Uh, I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road. Waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. <sighs> what did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down. And got up the hill real quick. <sighs> yeah, that's a weird bad time. <sighs> I am so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. doing out here last night? Oh, I saw someone kidnap someone. Like a, a kid. I saw someone kidnap someone. Like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. 
Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Uh, I knew we were just gonna brush this off. May, there's not been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from someone from something like Harfest. Heck, I got six calls of it kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting. This. This right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence? I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots. Almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them. And then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Uh. I was running around half the night getting after teenage junk. And people scared of clotheslines and noises. I. you. Uh. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry. We're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No. Yes. I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check, in, check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. That's me. Snack token Gregory. I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We're gonna head out to band practice. Let's go ahead and head to band practice. Yeah, let's do this. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. play. Yeah. Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. Mm. So how about that demon tower? Yeah. What do you think? I don't know yet. Haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Well, all right then. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out on the roof. Now I can like. I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But let's just not random people from doing that too. Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. There, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Pumpkin head guy.
है Oh, that sucked. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that sucked. Wow, man, that was a pretty bad, is what it was. I literally do not know the song. Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. <laughs> and anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, I think, was a ghost. Kid has some kid. And also, I think, was in my head after while I was sleeping. Anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Yeah? No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. So a jazz. Doesn't the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow. I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just, a, like, a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind. Let's go. Can I regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Ooh, -hoo, ghosties. That's a spirit. <clears throat> The library. Look, Jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. <laughs> Dead. Pumpkin head guy was hard. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfiche are? Microfiche. Microfiche. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. So night. Yep. Spooky here, all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Okay, no more talking to her. is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. 
All right. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Parody. It does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around 24-7. Yelling about, like, sharing and not littering. And paying taxes. Well, that's an important, uh, skill. I was five! I'm 20 now, and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Uh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no, austerity. What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh well, you still can't like go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, danger everywhere. -ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Okay. Let's do the microfiche. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Tark, born 1976. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. So it should be like, guaranteed? It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Oh, we're not even on the right floor. Okay. Going up. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more <laughs> cool in my head. It's okay. It was fine. Hmm. It's the last one at the very end, isn't it? Oh no, there's more. Nope, nope. It's the last one at the very end. Okay. Alright. There she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it, really. I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you jerk. Aww. Ugh. Aww, we friends be twist. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb butt is in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, mate. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Um. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like possum jump? Let me read it. 
It's possum jump. Okay, yeah. That's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghost or history? History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Darn. Um. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hey, hey, hey! Go spot it! Historical society. History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You don't go back. He didn't go back in school. I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, uh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's, like, three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? No, uh, let's look at more stuff. Want to read more? But still, no ghost to be found here. When you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Okay, cool. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards. Don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I don't choose to be born to this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe go, I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like... And I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. the wrong way. I thought we were supposed to go in the elevator. Ahem. 
Lidges? Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a... Uh, cool person. I don't know. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Soma and Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Add her to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life, out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you'll be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? Oh, Miss Colsey. At least she is blowing off some steam. Up next, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two. Two poems. A short though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh... Ha, folks, thanks. It is called Tunnel Eels. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and rage and slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. It is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. I'm just really worried about that fish. I th what, what fish think? He definitely talks to actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. <clears throat> Thanks, May. You know her. Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, babyface boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die, lead Lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and a yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Oh, dang. Wow, dang. Uh, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I liked your weird poem. 
Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait. Was the assumption that she didn't write it hers. Nice work, Summer. Uh, that's Melmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Put anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell them, bae. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't re really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and stuff. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home. And do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. <laughs> okay. Let's check what that was real quick. Not if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Ta da! It's Selmers, a poet. Slashed out, good poet. <laughs> okay. Whew, that was a lot. This this episode kind of went over because I wanted to finish out what was going on, but that that was just a lot of stuff. Um, I am over on my time, and this is going to be a long one, so I'm going to cut it off here. Um, next time we'll talk to Dad, and we'll go and have our nightmare for the night, and see how everything goes. Um... But yeah, thank y'all so much for joining me. Uh, leave a comment down below, let me know what y'all think. Uh, we're finally getting things underway, we're finally going and getting things taken care of. And yeah, subscribe and join me on finishing this adventure. We're getting close, I, could, I think, um, maybe about halfway there. I don't remember how many parts there are. We're on part three, I think. Um, so it feels like we're getting up there towards like really intense things. So hopefully things will get better, different. I don't know. <laughs> and now we can go on uh, top of Greg's high rise building. So I am definitely going to be doing that next time in the next day. Um, whenever I do my exploring through the day like we did today and i will see y'all in the next one thank y'all bye bye